Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited because I'm trying a new to me indie brand which is Bo's Beauty. It's a UK indie brand so super easy for me to get a hold of. Love that. I did pick up a few bits so I picked up the Trust the Process eyeshadow palette and um, this retails for £15. It's got little butterflies on. I do love, love butterflies. And then it is an all matte palette. It's got your neutrals, your rainbow colours. Beautiful. And then I did pick up, I popped them in one of my um, empty magnetic palettes. So I picked up this duochrome. This is called Constellation. And that was £3.49. And then there's this pressed glitter Parma Violets. And that one is £2.99 super excited i have swatched the duochrome it's stunning um and then i did pick up a liquid blush uh, this is in the shade peachy and these retail for £5.99 and of course i had to pick up a powder blush especially when the component looks like this and look at that it's got the imprint in it and this is the shade Little Apricot and it retails for £8.99 and they do have loads of other things on there, lashes, lash glue, lip liners, lip glosses, um, aquiliners and aquiliner palettes, there's, there's a lot on there so yes I will have the website linked in the description box below for if you want to go check them out and so I'm going to start in the Trust the Process palette. I'm going to start with the black because I really want to test out the black. So let me check my eye primer is... No, it's creasing my creasy, creasy eyes. Beautiful. Um, so yes, let's go in with the black first and I just want to kind of stamp that round okay not a bad black I just want to kind of stamp that in almost a almost a V triangly kind of shape uh, but I want to make sure that it's going up um, so as not to bring down my hooded eyes or make my hooded eyes appear more droopy than they already are. Um, so I'm going to look forwards. I'm going to make sure that I'm taking it above, just above my natural crease so that when my eyes are open, you can just see that darkness kind of peeking over. But it's a it's a fairly pigmented black and it does appear to be kind of blending itself out nicely as well okay so i'm just going to take that right on the edge edge of my lid there okay so i've got kind of this black triangly black triangly shape and then just taking the darkness into the crease most of the way along, like two thirds of the way along towards my inner corner. Okay. Um, I'm not mad at that. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. So I'm next gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this blue. It looks absolutely stunning. Please excuse the people cackling outside. <laughs> Who knows? There's a lot of work being done too out there. So if you can hear a lot of noise, I do apologise. So I'm kind of stamping it along the edge of the black at the moment. But it's pretty pigmented. Very pigmented. And I'm just going to make sure I bring that just a little bit further in a 
and then just blend what I have placed down. Yeah, that's nice blue. That is a nice blue. That's looking nice. So I think I'm going to go into the yellow and just take that on the inner part of my crease there. Well, that is, that's a really good yellow. I'm just going to keep it to the inner part there. Wow. Well, that definitely shows up. That definitely shows up. And then I'm just going to softly blend it across and into the blue so that it kind of blends Blends into each other nicely. That's so pretty. Look at that, how that's blending. Okay, that's looking really good. I'm just going to blend a bit more in here. I just want to make sure I can't see the line of the blue in there. Wow. That is pretty. That's pretty. I think I am going to take that right along the very, very outer. Up there just blend out the edges that looks so pretty i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the purple just on that outer part of my my lid here and just because i think that the the duochrome will blend nicely into that Okay, now the bit that I'm super, super excited for, and that is the Duochrome Constellation. So I'm going to go into Constellation there. And oh, it's picked up nicely on the brush. And I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. Oh my word. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to want to put the glitter on top of this. I'm not going to want to cover this up. Wow. So I think I'll have to swatch the glitter for you to see because I don't want to take the kind of limelight off of this duochrome because it is stunning. Look at that. That is so pretty. And it's got a pink base which usually i'm seeing like you know transparent based ones or black based duochromes or this is pink base and i know that from swatching <laughs> from when i swatched it and it left the pink base kind of on my skin when i wiped it off it's so pretty look at that such a beautiful geochrome. Oh, and now I'm just going to have to get more, aren't I? <laughs> Luckily, they are more an affordable price. And also, I haven't got to worry about the shipping because they're a UK indie brand. And obviously, I'm in the UK, so... This is so pretty. I definitely want more of their, their duochromes now. 
I picked up a little bit too much. It just spreads out so nice. It's like wet looking. It's so... From when I swatched it, it's kind of sil almost like silk. It's got that real silky feel and a real wet look. That is stunning. Seriously, guys. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. But I'm going to go back in to... Crikey. I'm going to go back into the purple matte in just a little bit and just you know, blend the edge of the duochrome there into the matte. Okay, I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm going to nip off and pop on my base and then I'll come back and we'll do the cream blush, under eyes powder blush, etc. So if you would like to see that, then just stay where you are. Okay, so I have my foundation on. Everything else I use will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. So now we are going to go in with the cream blush and this is, I've forgotten already the name of the shade. Unfortunately, it doesn't say it on the actual um, component, um, but it's the shade Peachy. So let's have a look. And it's on a little, little doe foot. That's so cute. Um, so let's... gonna plop some blobs there the technical terming and then oh oh that is pretty check that color out that's a really beautiful color and that has just blended beautifully it's not lifted any of the foundation yeah that's a winner for me <laughs> and I do love a cream blush I think ever since my skin changed and it started aging and all of that because it used to be super oily so I never used to wear cream products because I just thought oh, they're just gonna slip and slide off of my face um, but since my skin's changed, I've been really loving cream blushes, cream contours, all of that. That is such a beautiful shade. I'm loving that. I'm quickly going to powder my face down and then we will do under eyes and powder blush. Okay, so I think I'm going to go into the blush before doing my under eyes so this is the little powder blush in the shade little apricot and again difficulties opening and this is what she looks like stunning um so yes let's ooh, quite a lot of pigment comes up on the brush there oh Oh, she's really pigmented. That is stunning. Yeah, you do need to remember to tap the brush off. Okay, didn't do it enough the first time, but... No, I think that looks beautiful. That out. Okay. 
beautiful okay so for under my eyes I'm going to go in with the green and then blend it out with the yellow I think that's going to look really pretty so let's take some of that green I'm just keeping that right up against right up against the lash line again it's lovely and pigmented yeah these these mats are really pigmented the ones that I've tried so far you've got a really nice amount of pigment then the yellow this yellow is absolutely brilliant it's super pigmented and it's not dusting away it's just yeah this is a really good yellow I'm just gonna take that yellow just up on the edge of that there just to kind of tie it all in Oh, I'm absolutely loving how that's looking. Okay, guys, I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you the finished look and have a little chat with you about what my first thoughts are on these beautiful products from Bose Beauty. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so I'm back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below um everything else i've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to um so yes let's get on with talking about these beauties so the trust the process eyeshadow palette i mean i love the butterflies on there i've got the red one little pinky one blue one super cute super cute and you've got basically your rainbow shades your neutral shades whatever it is you need matte wise and yeah i think you could pretty much make any color you wanted by mixing them um but yeah the yellow impressed me a lot because it really shows up it is absolutely beautiful i had no issues with blending the black was pigmented but still blendable yeah what more can i say it's a win um the duochrome constellation oh my god jesus guys look just look at the shift see i can see through that you should be able to see it because i can see on the mirror in front of me clearly so hopefully it is translating to you guys through the screen um but it's absolutely stunning i am super impressed and i will definitely be picking up more duochromes from bose beauty i didn't try the glitter out i did swatch this on my hand earlier and it i'll show you so this is palmer violets and well look at that that's what picks up and then if you go on the hand, press it on, look at that. And it's it's got a really nice kind of not sticky base in it, but yeah, absolutely stunning. But yes, like I said, I didn't I didn't want to cover up this beautiful duochrome today, so we didn't try it, but I have it. I'm super excited to try it. It's stunning. The 
cream blush um i have the shade peachy i also have used this on my lips i thought that it would just kind of tie everything in nicely it's a beautiful formula it blended really nicely i love the color so yeah another another win oh <laughs> throwing everything around um so yeah another win there and the powder blush oh my god this is just one of the cutest little components um so this is the shade little apricot and again because i'm trying to film i can't open it and it is a beautiful shade and it goes perfectly with peachy um yeah another win i'm super happy i love this look yeah super excited to see what else Bose Beauty come out with so far I'm super impressed yeah can't wait to try more from them so guys I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a like it really helps me out if you are new and you love colorful makeup and you love to support indie brands and maybe discover some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before then please do hit the subscribe button come and join my beautiful chameleon family we have such a wonderful time here i'm biased but hey we have a great time so thank you so much for spending this time with me today i appreciate you so very much thank you i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon bye yeah. stepping in the spot like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gunplay oh my yeah talk of the city with the body always getting praised like a sunday she said baby what you gonna do